Hello, welcome to Quality Food Safety 101. And today is our last video about HACCP uh, series. In this video today, uh, we will talk about the seventh principle and the twelfth step in Codex Logic Sequence, which is the last step, documentation and records. Let's start. So there's a very famous saying in all the quality management systems that any system is as powerful as its evidence uh, shown in the records. If there is no records, then there is no system. The same is true for HACCP as well. There is a whole list of records and documents which need to be maintained if you want to establish a proper HACCP system. If those records are not there, then it would mean that the HACCP system is not existing or your food uh, is being manufactured on a fluke and there is no proper system to it. So we will talk about this today in detail. So these are the uh, list of records and documents which need to be maintained for any effective HACCP system. So the HACCP plan has to be there, which has to be uh, prepared in detail. The prerequisite program, all the SOPs and the records related to prerequisite should be there. The floor plan or the layout of the process should be there. Approved list of, list of suppliers and all the monitoring records should be there to maintain the proper HACCP study. Now let's look at some of these things in detail. So the, in the HACCP plan, you need to have proper HACCP team uh, and their responsibilities, their scope and term of reference, product and process description, flow diagrams, consumers, hazard analysis and CCP determination, critical limits and targets, deviation and corrective action procedures, monitoring procedures. Uh, reasons for uh, you know the decisions or critical decisions like validation review and everything should be there as well. So if you look at this list carefully, these are the 12 steps of HACCP. So all the details of the 12 steps of HACCP need to be maintained to maintain the HACCP plan. So that's the first document which should be there for any HACCP study and you can also call it as a HACCP manual. In addition to that, this is a full list of HACCP prerequisites, which includes uh, personal hygiene, management commitment, which includes cleaning, pest control, uh, approved suppliers, which also includes, uh, you know, temperature control. All these lists uh, of prerequisites are mandatory before implementing HACCP and all the SOPs and records associated with these prerequisites must also be maintained uh, within the HACCP system as well. Then lastly, we talk about the records. If the records are not maintained properly, if the records are not done properly, if the team is not recording things on the correct timing, that's also a problem. The biggest failure of HACCP system is poor recording. Because what happens is that a lot of time people, uh, they do the task, but they do the recording afterwards. And as a result, they are not recording the actual data. They are recording what they think is the actual data and which is the biggest failure for HACCP system. So if you want to implement a proper HACCP system, all the documents which we discuss uh, should be there and make sure that the P staff are trained in proper recording. If they do proper recording, they can find out the uh, potential challenges within the system and rectify them as well. The HACCP team can work with the management and the staff to rectify them. But if the recording is not done properly on time, then there will be no corrective action and then as a result, the HACCP system will, will fail because somebody might get food poisoning and uh, then we will not know what happened because the records and documents will show everything is perfect and still there is a food poisoning case which happened due to our food. So this is the uh, details of the documentation which is required for HACCP system. All right, so this brings us to the end of our HACCP journey. It has been a long journey. Uh, there was a break uh, in, a, in the middle of this as well due to my personal reasons. Uh, but uh, Finally, we have finished it. Uh, we have completed all the aspects of HACCP. Hope this whole playlist of HACCP uh, helped you uh, in some way or the other. Please do subscribe to our channel. Uh, uh, we need your support to grow this channel. So please do subscribe to it. Like the video, share the content. You can share this full playlist to anybody and they will surely understand what is HACCP. If there are any questions uh, related to this topic, feel free to comment uh, in the comment section and I will surely respond to it. Thank you and let's continue the study together on food safety and quality. See you in the next one.